Hi y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Raquel, and today we are gonna make a quick and easy 30 minute one pot hamburger helper. Now this recipe actually takes a little less than 30 minutes, um, but it is definitely a family favorite. It's quick and easy. It's not your typical um, box hamburger helper. It has less preservatives and additives and things, um, but it's definitely tasty, um, quick and easy for like a day that you have a lot of things going on and you just need something hearty and rich for your family to um, enjoy. It is a quick, easy recipe. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And if you like quick and easy recipes, please uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe. That way you can stay updated on future recipe videos. Um, MH Family Adventures is our YouTube page. Um, so definitely go there, um, like and subscribe so that you can stay updated on upcoming recipes and adventures. All right, so you will need um, some form of ground meat. It could be um, just a standard ground beef or it could be a ground turkey. Here I'm actually using, I like the texture of this better. This is um, your, your ground taco meat, a carne piccata. Um, you can find this um, in your meat section or you can ask the butcher if they could grind you up some beef um, to make the carne piccata. So here I have two pounds of that. I have about four cups of cheddar cheese. You can use whichever type of cheese you prefer. Um, here I just have a standard cheddar cheese, but you can definitely mix that up and you can add more or less depending on how much cheese you um, prefer in your recipes. You will need about one small chopped onion. Um, here I'm using a red onion. I only use a red onion today because that's all I had available. Um, so a red onion there. You'll need about two cups of broth and there I'm using a beef broth. You'll need one box of elbow macaroni. You'll also need about four cups of whole milk. And then you have a variety of different spices here that you'll need to include in the recipe. So very basic um, homemade hamburger helper. And I will go over the spices and seasonings as we add them in. Let's get started. All right, so for this recipe, you will need a large um, pot to cook it in. Again, this is the one pot meal, so this is the only pot that you'll need. So I just have two tablespoons of salted butter in there. I'm gonna add in my meat and we're gonna brown this. So that's the first step, is to get all of your meat into the pan and we're gonna get this nice and brown. Okay, and while you're cooking your meat, you don't need to cook it um, 100% all the way through because it is going to cook a little bit more in the broth and in the milk. So um, cook it about three quarters of the way. I'm just going to get most of it nice and brown. And we're not going to add any seasonings in at this point because you are going to have to drain this. And if you put the seasonings in now and you drain it, of course, you're going to lose some of those um, spices. So we're just going to brown it like this and we're going to drain it. All right, now that the uh, meat is about halfway brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions so those can start sauteing with the meat. All right, we're gonna cook this for another few minutes. Again, you're gonna cook it until the meat is about three quarters of the way cooked um, because again, you're gonna drain it and you are gonna cook this um, some more in the broth and in the, with the milk. So you don't want to overcook your meat. All right, we're just gonna saute that a little bit longer and then we're gonna drain it. All right, so we have the meat drained and I can tell you that this was probably the hardest part of this recipe because now all you have to do is add in the rest of the ingredients um, except for the cheese. So you're gonna save the cheese for last. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our spices. Um, let's see, we have salt. We're gonna put in two teaspoons of salt. We're just gonna sprinkle that in. All right, so we have our salt. We're gonna do just a pinch of black pepper. We have the black pepper going in. All right, and then we have three teaspoons of garlic powder. All right, with some garlic powder. We're gonna add in two teaspoons of oregano. We're also gonna add in two and a half teaspoons of parsley. We are gonna add in three teaspoons of paprika. All right, and then one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. You can add more or less depending on how you like your spice. And we're gonna add in a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. And we're gonna add in our liquid and our noodles. All right, so we're gonna stir that up. 
but you don't have to worry about the salt content. Um, like I said, if you didn't season your meat before, this is getting it nice and seasoned, and we're going to keep that seasoning in the pan and not drain it down the sink. All right, so we have that. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our noodles. Again, this is just one box of elbow macaroni noodles. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add in our four cups of milk. All right, again, I use the whole milk here. And add that in. Like I said, this recipe I think is easier than the box um, hamburger helper and it tastes a lot better. And we're going to add in two cups of broth. All right, we're going to give this a stir here and we are going to bring this to a boil. And then we are going to cover. And uh, some of you are probably saying, but you didn't boil the noodles. But if you think about the hamburger helper, um, in the box, you don't boil those noodles either. So you don't want to boil your noodles beforehand because they're going to cook down in this um, broth here. So make sure you don't boil your noodles. You should put them in um, uncooked. All right, we're going to stir this. We're going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you are going to cover it and you're going to let it um, just simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. You definitely want to um, try the noodles to make sure they don't get overcooked. And then we're going to add in our cheese. So we're going to let bring this to a boil. We're going to cover and let it simmer. All right, so you wanna make sure that while you're waiting the 10 minutes that you're stirring it periodically, um, just to make sure nothing's sticking at the bottom. And then you wanna definitely give a noodle uh, um, taste test just to make sure the noodles are cooked and cooked well. Um, you don't want it to overcook or be mushy. So at this point, um, I've tasted my noodles and they are al dente. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add in the cheese. That's the final step. All right, so I've turned the heat off and now we're just gonna add the cheese in, let that melt and help thicken things up some. So we're adding in four cups of cheddar. And again, you can add more or less depending on what you prefer. All right, we're just gonna add all of that in there and give this a nice stir and let it melt down. And then we'll be ready to serve. And I went ahead and just removed it from the stove. That's a tip to do. That way you don't have the heat from the stove still getting this too hot and then your noodles become mushy. So, all right, so we're gonna give that a good stir and let it sit for a minute just to help thicken it up. And it is good to go. At this point also, you might wanna give it a taste just to see if you need any more seasoning, any more salt. You know, we all prefer, you know, different types of spice levels. So you can always add in more chili powder, you could add in more salt, more black pepper, whatever you might want in there. Um, also, this recipe is good where you could add in some spinach here. You can add in maybe some sweet peas if you wanted to add more veggies. So there you have it. All right, so there you have it, a quick and easy, under 30 minutes, probably more like 20, 25 minutes, um, homemade hamburger helper. And again, you can use whatever type of meat you prefer, whether it's ground turkey, ground beef, or in my case, I use carne piccata. Um, tastes really, really good. I'm gonna give it a, another taste. Really good, and again, you can adjust seasonings um, however you like, add more or less cheese. You can even add in some pickles if you like, some um, chopped pickles if you wanted to give it that cheeseburger taste. Um, but there you have it. 
If you like this recipe, please um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I have more recipes coming. Again, quick, easy, family-friendly meal. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.